Welcome everyone to another image processing tutorial with Raw Therapy. So here we are in Raw Therapy and I have this nice image opened up that I took with my cell phone. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and open up the exposure tab and you can see that this image is incredibly underexposed. So I'm going to go ahead and just increase the exposure until I feel like bright enough. Now I, this is a night shot so I don't want to increase it too much. Um, so yeah, I'm going to say 3.15. Now you can come down here and hit 1 to 1 and you can see just how noisy this thing is. Uh, so let's head over here and turn on some sharpening just to help us sharpen things out and then we can come here to the noise reduction and in the luminance slider I'm going to add maybe 30. Hit OK. And you can see that that takes care of a lot of the noise right off the bat. We may need to add a little bit more, but for now, I think that's good. All right. Uh, next, I'm going to go back to my exposure tab and I'm going to hit the zoom to crop or fit to crop button. And uh, I'm going to add in some black to kind of add a little bit of contrast. Not very much. We'll say maybe 400. Um, and then I'm going to add in some saturation and I'm just going to input 20. That's kind of my default uh, and then I can adjust from there. Okay. Now one thing that I'm noticing is there's some vignetting going on. So let's go ahead and turn on the vignette filter and we can actually just pull this back. Oh, that might be a little too much. And you can see now if I turn that off, we have the vignette and then uh, if I, I pull the strength back, lightening up the edges and that kind of helps to deal with some of that vignetting. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do is come over here to the white balance and in vibrance, I'm sorry, not white balance, this is color. I'm going to turn on the vibrance and I'm going to add in another 20 and you can see here that really kind of just makes the colors pop and I really like that about the vibrant slider um, and then I'm going to come down here to my color toning and instead of using correction regions I'm going to come to RGB sliders oh no no, no not that one color balance there you go and now I can add more or less color balance the, the photo a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and in the shadows, I'm going to add just a little bit of red, just, just a hint. That's, that might even be too much. We might need to go back to five. And then see in the mid-tones, I'm going to cool it off. Add a little bit of blue and a little bit of blue. And then in the highlights, uh, let's go with yellow. So go ahead and pull that slider. Oh, it's too much. Okay, so now if I turn it off, it's not a real noticeable difference, but that's kind of what color toning is. You're just tweaking the colors ever so slightly. Okay, next I'm gonna come here to the crop. Oh, oh first I'm gonna come up here and grab the straighten tool and I'm just going to select this line right here. Straighten that just a little bit. And that's actually too much. I'm going to bring that back. Okay. Maybe a little bit more. Now I can turn the crop on. And I'm going to change this to a 4x5 for posting on Instagram. And then I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to pull from the side. And if I pull from the side on the crop box, um, you can see that it, it scales accordingly. So I'll pull over and then I'll pull from this other side because I want to center the building. Now if I pull up, it keeps everything aligned. Now I do want to kind of, I do want to mess with the perspective a little bit. I'm going to mess with the horizontal here. I, if I pull it to the right, you can see that it actually pulls out this side of the photograph and that will just make everything seem a little bit more square. 
and then I want to move my whole box over. I'm going to hold shift and then click inside of my crop box in order to move the whole thing. And so I'll go ahead and kind of move it right there. All right. So now uh, I'm going to come back here to the exposure and I'm going to add in just a little more black. And then let me see here. Uh, I'm gonna add in a little bit of highlight compression. And then I'm just gonna bring the lightness up to brighten the entire image and add in a little bit of contrast to kind of combat everything. Okay, there we go. So we have our image. I still feel like it's missing just a little bit. So I'm gonna come here to this tone curve, come down here to standard, and I'm just gonna pull this, uh, this top dot over just keeping it at the top just to really crush the lights and then do the same here with the bottom dot. All right, that's much better. I'm gonna zoom back into one-to-one -one now that I've done all of my color correcting and come back to the noise reduction. And since this is a cell phone at night taking a long exposure shot, you can just see how noisy it is. So let's go ahead and up that to 50. You can see that it really smooths everything out. But now for the detail recovery, let's bring that up to maybe 15. All right, I'll zoom back out. And you can see it still looks very noisy, but it won't look nearly as noisy uh, when, when we export it. This has been another image processing tutorial in raw therapy. I hope this has been helpful for you. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you so choose, and I will see you in the next one.